Hello, friend. Catherine and Erica here from Catherine Blue Hello. Designs. How we have missed we've you. We've missed you. It's been two weeks since we've been on live. Has it? At least a week and a half. It feels like forever. Well, Wednesday to Wednesday. Oh, yeah. That makes two weeks. Makes two weeks. Um, we were in New Orleans at Creativation. Nolens. New Orleans. Nolens. Yeah. At Creativation. Um, we had a fantastic time. We, we sure were, did. We were there with our friends from Sizex. Mm -hmm. And we got to catch up with a bunch of folks we hadn't seen in a while. We hung out with some friends um, from a bunch of different companies, a bunch of influencers. Yeah, it was great. It was fantastic. It was wonderful. So, yeah, we just uh, did some demonstrations at the mm -hmm. Creativation Show, and then we did a class. Yes. Yeah, so we had uh, about 40 influencers and store owners that we shared our new collection with. That's coming out with Sizzix on May 1st. Yes. Uh, we hung out with the fun people at Spillbinders. We did. And Altenew mm -hmm. and Picket Fence yep. and Pear Blossom. Yes. And it was fantastic. It was great. We didn't even get to do the whole rounds. It was a very like wild whirlwind of yeah. a time there, but um, we had a great time and it was just nice to catch up with some folks we haven't seen for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So that was cool. Yeah. I know because we haven't um, traveled to a show like that since right. before COVID. Mm hmm. Yeah. And yeah, if you are following different people on social media, you probably saw some like reels and videos and sneak peeks mm -hmm. of the products that are coming. So you probably saw some of that fun Sizzak stuff and the new, new things that are coming. So <laughs> press pause on all the fun yeah. excitement you see from co coming from Sizzak's Catherine Puller Design. Because we got some. Press first. pause on that because we have. Dun, dun, Whoops, dun, dun. This coming first. Yes, we do. <laughs> coming soon. Yes, so our April release is hitting the shop next week, Wednesday, March, or April. It's April, not March. April 10th. I think I'm dressed. Is that dress blues? I think I'm dressed blues. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, maybe we're both kind of. Like I would this. say suede shoes. Yes. Yeah. Um, next Wednesday, April 10th. New collection hitting the shop, and if you've been watching Catherine's social media, you will know that there is ink. Oh, we love it. So, first ink color that's coming next week has been revealed, and um, we're going to take a, a peek at that here in a minute. Yeah. Uh, one ink color has been revealed. Mm -hmm. One is in the process of the color. Revealed. And one is being revealed today yes. on Instagram. Yes. And I'm wondering if it might accidentally slip into today's video before it is officially announced on Instagram. Oh, golly. Oh, golly. And there may be another one coming tomorrow, yeah. too. So we're let the good times roll, guys. We have some announcements. So Stamp Nation members get a free pack of patterned paper through April 15th. Uh, place an order. Put it... Put the mystery pack in your cart. Then the coupon code to take off the dollar amount and you get it for free. So that's for Stamp Nation members this month. Um, well, through the April 15th. So if you're not a member yet, friend, come on. Join us. We'd love to have you. Uh, members get our classes. Our most recent one was the spring scene building class that is up on Stamp Nation yep. now so our, you can watch the replay. Our next class will be in May. Mm -hmm. You get a quarterly product perk and you also get to order our new releases first which is amazing. I wanted to announce something else. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. We have a new video series coming soon so what's on trend we will have four of our influencer friends, as well as myself, with a new video every single Sunday night at 8 p.m. for five weeks. We will press pause on Wednesday lives. Most of them, not all. We will still have a few live streams in the mix here and there, but mostly starting next, uh, starting when? April 14th. April so 14th. Sunday, April 14th, we have our first in the What's On Trend series. Sunday night, it's a premiere, so you'll want to tune in. And if you catch the premiere when it goes airs live, we will be chatting along with you in the Chitty Chat chat. And if you miss it, you can watch the replay and you can still comment 
there's going to be some fun things happening there. So you definitely want to tune in and find out. Susan's cracking me up. Definitely She's for slippage. want to find out. Oh, sneaks. Yeah, sneaks they want the sneaks. Let's take a look down. I also just wanted to say, someone asked me, Jennifer, was that you, what is NC State red? It's rock and red for sure. Yeah. I saw the Pantone color for it. We should compare and see how, like, close. specifically close <laughs> it is. Yes, and can I get a holla for the NC State Wolfpack? First time in history, the men and women are both in the Final Four basketball, and my husband went to state, my nephews went to state, my sister-in-law went to state, my daughter is there now on the dance team, so she dances for the football team and for the women's games, some of the men's. So we have been very involved in the NC State sports this year. My husband has been a fan for the duration, um, and I've dabbled, but now I'm in. It's so much fun, and she's doing great. Now, so guys. it's super fun. Catherine Sports. Yeah. I craft and, and sport. I, per I, I partake in the um, viewer range. Yeah. What is it? spectator? I, I spectator. Spectator sport. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about stamping. Yes. Ink. So we uh, wanted to talk about our metallics and also show you the new color that was revealed on Instagram. So we are uh, adding to the spa collection. We have Merlot as our darkest red, peppermint scrub, rouge. So these are the spa reds. They have muted grayed down undertones. Then we go lighter and it becomes a pink. So we have rose petals. Then we have pink champagne. And then dun, 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 our newest addition is quartz. It's a very light, slightly muted undertone pink it's gorgeous and i had these swatched out somewhere let me do it again yes the, that's on my desk but you need to do it <laughs> oh the swatching is on your yeah. desk okay mm -hmm. so pink champagne and quartz are very similar in shade one of them is warmer mm -hmm. and one of them is a little cooler yes so they kind of go next to each other on the color wheel Let's see what they look like in real life. In action. IRL, people. IRL. We love a good IRL situation. So let's do Merlot first. Oh, wow. That looks black. It, it will dry looks, back yeah. and not look as black. But in and in this person, light. It's, yeah, it's not black. <laughs> wow, that does look dark. <laughs> Okay, peppermint scrub. It's like a vino situation. Wow, that looks really good. too. But like Erica says, and these are very freshly inked pads. Yeah. So they may look a little darker. Oh, look too. at that. It's already transforming. Okay, then we're going to do rouge. Pretty, pretty. Then yeah. we have rose petals. Oh, that looks really dark, too. But again, see, as it dries, it's already lighting, lightening up. Lightening. Okay, lightening. And then pink champagne and quartz. Oh, amazing. Ton -ah. Look at those. So now you have an amazing array of spa red slash pink. Gorgeous. Stunning. So this, these, uh, the, this mm -hmm. new ink color yes. will be available on Wednesday, <laughs> April, April 10th. Unless you're a Stampation member, and then you will get to order early on Tuesday the 9th. That is a perk, perk, perk of doing it. Oh, yeah, sure. I have more news. I, I put my glasses on top of my head because it's... It is humid here in Raleigh, North Carolina. So. I would like everyone to put on their calendar, because I need you to come root for me, April 15th at 7 a.m., mm -hmm. Erica and I will be in Tampa, Florida, because mm -hmm. I am going to be on HSN. Yay! <laughs> so I hope you guys will put that on your calendar. Join us. Cheer me on. Yes. Root for me. It's a little nerve-wracking. Yeah. We're in for quite an interesting day. It'll be a yeah. lot of fun. Um gonna be great My goodness yeah so we're gonna be showing um new product that we yep. have coming with sysx yeah so it'll be so fun. a debut debut oh i like a debut oh it's gonna be a debut 
Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about our metallic inks. They are very different than our dye-based ink. They are pigment. They are very thick and heavy, more like a paint. So let's see. Let's do champagne. When you purchase the ink pad, uh huh. You definitely want to grab the ink refill. Now, we've had a lot of trouble keeping these in stock because you guys have been crazy over them. Uh, and right now we have a good amount of stock of gold, silver, and champagne. Our ink refills are really low. So when we sell out of the ink refills, still going to encourage you to put those on your list. You can grab the pads while you can, but if the ink refills are out of stock, definitely come back and grab them. Now, this ink is very different. If this was a dye water-based ink, the color and the ink would just be coming right out of this refill bottle. But because this is paint, like a paint, and it's so thick, it's gonna take a little muscle. And it comes out very different than the dye-based ink. So usually I just squirt it out like this, and it's probably hard for you to see because I'm right over the top of it. But I just, that's kind of satisfying, actually. <laughs> like a condiment, like some <laughs> ketchup or mustard. And then I take the nozzle and I just rub it over the top to spread that ink out. You want to keep these pretty juicy, especially if you're doing techniques like direct to paper, because it's definitely harder to get this ink out of the pad yeah. than our dye based inks. So, what I would say is the viscosity or the thickness of the ink for a pigment ink is going to be a lot thicker than what you are used to if you use our dye-based inks. So our normal line ink colors, completely different experience, and we have, um, we want to make sure we communicate that so that you know what to expect. Okay, so we're going to take this and run it along. And I'm giving a pretty firm press, but also being careful not to tear my ink pad or separate it from the base. Okay, so now I have a pretty good layer. We're gonna be using this technique with our next release, and it's very wet. This takes a very long time to dry. So also depending on your paper, some papers it's gonna dry better than others, um, I have had the best luck with a craft cardstock like this, getting it to dry on this. It's really it's pretty porous. Um, but there we go. Look at that. That's so pretty. Um, for best permanence, you're going to want to use a fixative. So we have this in the shop. You just shake, give it a spray, and let it set set aside, I don't know how long, 20 minutes, 30 minutes maybe. I end up spraying all of my projects because I want to make sure it doesn't smear. But really, if you're doing something like this, and then maybe you pop this up over the top, this isn't going to get a lot of action. You know, someone's probably not going to come and rub their finger across it. So if you don't put a fixative over it, you're probably going to be okay. Yeah. But if you want to make sure that it does not smear, doesn't move, whatever. Throw some embossing powder, clear embossing powder over the top or the fixative, just to make sure that that really stays put. Okay, so Cheryl's saying, can you over ink it? I mean, I don't know, probably. Yeah, I reckon you could. <laughs> and I think you would just find that it's really kind of like messier and when you're trying to stamp. If it looks like it's not giving you a crisp image, you may put a little too much on. Um, Heat gun definitely helps with drying. I would kind of say, like, with anything, I would probably err on the side of add a little, try it out, see how you feel. If you feel like it needs a little more, add a little more. So, um, I shouldn't do this here. Woo! <laughs> Don't let Randall come in here. Yeah, um, Okay. So let, there was another, oh, Aquanet. I would love to know about that. That oh, might yeah. work. And we paintbrush. That. We did try it. We did try painting with it. It doesn't really work that great. Mm -hmm. You can try it, but I, I didn't really find it had awesome 
results. And I, and don't so. try and add water to it either. Like, yeah, uh, I tried to thin it out with the paintbrush when we were testing it, and it's not really designed to do that. So that didn't work either. So, so here these colors are drawing back, and it gives you a little bit better look at what those colors are going to look like. So our darkest to our lightest. Uh, Debbie said, do you spray it with a fixative immediately or wait until it's set a few minutes? Honestly, if you're stamping out your project, I'd go ahead and spray my pieces and then set them aside to dry. And then I can come back and die cut and whatever else you need to do to finish your project. So you don't need to wait. But you, if you did take a little bit more time and you come back and spray it, it's going to be fine. All right. I so love this pattern paper you've got here, Catherine. Yeah, what do you want to do with it? Um, pattern paper, freebie for Stamp Nation right now. Let's get, add some bling. Get a mystery pack. Let's bling how, it out. How about this brand new metallic right here called Rose Gold? <gasps> this is the first place you've seen this, folks. <laughs> she is just, there that. Is. there's the spillage. There <laughs> it is. It has been spilled. The beans so, are on the table. Why not? stamp on top of patterned paper and add metallic accent. Oh my goodness. I don't think you guys are able to see this as well as we can in real life, but it's so cool. Um, success with clear embossing. Yes, we've done it with clear embossing again because it stays tacky. You can just easily sprinkle it with embossing powder and heat set it. It does change the texture of the look a little bit when yeah. you heat set it. I it's mean, when texture. you emboss it, but it definitely creates permanence. Can you guys see that shine on there? It's really, really pretty. It is a little hard to see on the camera, but when you hold it at a certain angle, we totally can. Okay, so I yes. did this one with silver. You might be able to see this a little better. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So fun. This one I added polka dots. Cute. And then this one I added gold leaf foliage. I love yes. this. Yes, you guys. Rose gold. Which one's your favorite? And Yeah, this rose gold. Yes, let's do a woohoo. Paper pack is called... Um, oh, it is... My brain isn't telling me. Is it under your paper? Right there. Though. Right there. Oh, there yeah. Roses, and, Roses lace. and lace. And it goes with this stamp set right here. Roses and lace. There we go. And this is Roses are red stamp set. And a little roses in there. So pretty. Can you stamp it on craft? Absolutely, Jim. Absolutely. So I wanted to use your kind words, warmed my heart from the Big Blossom stamp set. And then I'm gonna use my Sizzix stencil and stamp tool as a platform. And good question, the rose that you were just using, that was what I pick, what's that called? Fresh picked. Fresh picked. Fresh picked flowers, um, fresh picked floral stamp set is where she got the little leafy stem embellishment and the rose that she used there, as well as the polka dot. Gosh, I love this stamp set. I haven't yeah. used it in a while. I think, was this a Cersei? I feel like it was. Mm -mm. No? Oh, you guys, it's all getting. It was our Mother's Day, Day a couple years ago. Bunch of cluster in my brain. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so let's use the champagne to stamp this sentiment. So here is another great way to use the metallic inks with and get a gorgeous metallic look without having to heat emboss. Now, of course, heat embossing is going to give you a metallic look and it will be raised, but this is going to be a flat metallic. But look at how perfect that stamped. I didn't even have to stamp it twice. These inks are just amazing. Uh, I love this idea. Just. Rose gold stamped over the rose over the quartz. Yeah. Oh yeah. That would be really pretty. That would be gorgeous. Okay. And I already did one and did the sealant on it. And I have a couple of these die cut. I thought it would be fun to I did champagne, so let's do champagne. Let's see if I can get it on this die cut. I believe in you. Oh boy. 
not bad. Melanie said she just picked up a stencil and stamp tool and she loves it. Oh, great. What do you love about it? Melanie, some of the lucky ducks in our class got to take those home. Oh, really, really um, exciting things. Yes, and our new release coming out in May. There is a new accessory tool that goes with the stamp and stencil tool, and our release was created to go with it. Yes. Daniel, we've already spilled some beans. Yes. So, um, get your ham sandwich and a bag of chips and kick back <laughs> and continue watching. <laughs> and Daniel is one of our friends who has a video coming out for our What's on Trend video series starting so trendy. April 14th, <laughs> the day before I go on HSN. Yes. Did Daniel just come? Yes. Did he miss the news? Yes. If you just tuned in, the news is April 15th, set your clock, 7 a.m. because I'm going on HSN. It's happening. I'm not scared at all. <laughs> it's going to be fine. <laughs> It is, it is a little nerve-wracking just because it's very fast-paced. Yeah, so I've had some meetings with HSN folks, and I went to HSN um, a month or so ago, and I cannot tell you how fantastic they are. They made me feel so relaxed and at home, so I think that is really going to help because it's, it's a lot going on there. It's some pressure, my friends. And some people wanted to know if we planned our matching tops today. <laughs> we did not. Actually, I had a different top on today. And I got oatmeal all over it. And How about I just, spillage? Yeah, I got spillage for sure. And I just so happened to have this shirt in the office, so I popped it on. <laughs> Lucky for me, I was prepared with another shirt. Yes, the stencil and stamp tool is a tool from Sizzex that's been on the market for a little while, and it is a stamping platform that has a lid that comes off. It comes with a stencil attachment, and all of their stencils are formatted to hook onto that attachment so that you can keep everything lined up. Um, we've been demonstrating it on some of the lives recently. Um, when we're done here, pop in and take a, a perusal and um, I think there's a particular video where we used mm -hmm. it and I can't remember the name of it but we can just a couple weeks ago yeah you can check that out in action always nice to have various options in your arsenal mm -hmm. for different tricks and te techniques there so stamping on patterned paper and black cardstock and white cardstock with your sentiments for card making with metallic inks. I, I'm really, really digging the stamping on the pattern paper. And I was thinking like you could use a background stamp, but that might have taken up too much of the space. I like how you just strategically add it to the design. Thanks. Gorgeous. What do you guys think? That was fun. If you, if you liked what we did today, give us a thumbs up. Or if you just like the color of our matching shirts. <laughs> our bright blue vibes that we're giving today. <laughs> yeah, and everything that we're going to be showcasing on HSN will be available in our shop at the beginning of May. So if you <laughs> miss it or just want to wait, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have it here too in our shop. Yes. We're super excited. So much on the horizon over yeah. these next few weeks and months. Keep tuned in to all of the social media channels, Instagram, Facebook, here on YouTube. And don't forget, we've got lots of things that we talked about earlier in the video. So if you missed the beginning, go back and check that out. And we will see you back here. Actually, on well, we'll be Friday. on Facebook on Friday. Yeah. yeah. Facebook on and Friday. And then next week on Monday, Tuesday, we'll be here, here on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yes. Noon, YouTube, Monday, Tuesday. And just for preparedness, no YouTube on Wednesday of uh -huh. next week. Catherine's out of town. I will go live on Facebook and, and go through yeah. the new goodies with you guys, yes. but it'll be kind of a quickie. So <laughs> uh, Monday and Tuesday, we're going to be doing the card making. Yes. So, so Friday, Wednesday, YouTube, oh, Facebook. Friday, Wednesday, Facebook. Monday, Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> it'll all be an email. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Have Bye an guys. amazing day and be sure to subscribe, like, and share. Take care.
I want a banh mi sandwich. That's what I was going to say. Damn right, it. Now I need go. to go get banh mi.